Hi there, welcome back with Firefighter Caprata and Fire Safety Tips. Now, a lot of people always ask, you know, how do you shut off the water in a house? Now, we went over gas and where to shut it off inside the prop uh, property, outside the property. We're going to do the same thing with water. Now, water works the same way, right? You know, on and off. But, let's say you have a leak underneath the sink. Now, all sinks are relatively the same. Same with toilets. If you have a leak in your house, what do you do, right? So within the house, in the area that's leaking, it could be the refrigerator, it could be underneath the kitchen sink, it could be underneath your, your faucets in your bathroom right here. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to ask this guy here. This guy's not going to help you out, right? No. You want to know on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out here. I'm going to show you one quick thing. Okay, this is for the toilet. So first things first, we'll start with the toilet. Now, if you look, you see that valve. I'm gonna get closer and closer here. See that valve right there? Remember how I talked to you about the gas and how gas up and down, that's in the direction of the pipe, that means it's on. So if the valve is in the direction of the pipe, that means the water is on. Now that goes the same if you're looking at underneath the sink. So let me take you underneath my sink. Hopefully it's nice and clean. So here we go, underneath the sink here. So as you can see, this is underneath my sink. And you're looking at, here's the valves. There's a hot and cold, okay? Now it's in line. See how it's in line like this? That means water is on. Quarter turn, oops, boom. Now water's off. That means the water is off. So you turn it back on, water back on. That's how you turn the valves on and off. A lot of people don't know, it's good to know, but let's take you outside, take it a step further, make sure there's no leaks. Make sure that, you know, we'll take it a little step further here. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna go look at how to shut it off at the city, city side. Now, this is if it's a big leak. You have something that's leaking in your house, you can't figure out where it is. It could be underneath your house, you know. It could be some major, you know, uh, water that's, that's flowing. Let me take you outside, and we're going to go over what to specifically do. And this will be an easy fix, so stay tuned. Oh, that's good. Okay, here we go. Excuse my mess. We're, uh, we have a lot of packages here from, like, Amazon. And we're having another baby, so be prepared for another wild animal in the household of the Caffaratus. Okay, so let's go outside. Let me show you where to shut off the water from the city side. That's the water coming in from the street side to your house. So as we're walking like this, so you're right over here. And this is always in the front of most houses, most buildings, and uh, whatnot. So we're gonna look down right here, and I'll show you. Let me get this where it's comfortable. So, right here, this is the water meter. That's the water shut off. That's for pretty much every property. Get a long screwdriver, pop this guy up like this, and just take it out, okay? So in here, this is the meter. This is where, you know, all that stuff happens, okay? This is where you need to make sure if you have a problem in your house and there's water leak, you wanna look in here, get your hands in here, dig down, now you see the pipe. See how the pipe is going, like I talked about before, in the direction. And this is basically, uh, this is the knob, this is basically the lever. Um, this is what you want to pay attention to. So if this is going in line, right, of the pipe, that means it's on. You can look right here, and this is water. This is the meter itself. It tells you what the meter is and everything. So you can look at that and no water right now is flowing, but if it was, you'd see this, you'd see it turning and you'd see it moving. That's when the water's flowing in the house. Now to turn this off, the main water off, you could use a wrench, just like this. Use a wrench and like channel locks, and you just go like this and you start turning it. You start turning it off like that. See how I turn it like that? That's how you turn the water off to the house. Just like that. That's how the water is turned off. I'm going to turn back on because we need the water on in my house. Can't keep it off. But that's the way to shut off the water. 
very easy, it's very quick, and you know what? It works every time. So I'm gonna put this back over, and that is how you shut off the water in a house. Okay, so for any leaks, come out, find out where your water main is, shut it off, and that'll prevent future water damage within your house. That's something you want to avoid. Thanks for joining me. Join next time, and I'll go over more fire safety tips with Firefighter Cavarata. Thanks again. Let me put down some of my tools, and 